Okay guys, welcome to another tutorial video. Yay, I like making these ones. I think they're the most fun I have doing. Okay, so for this tutorial, um, it's going to be how to make your tanks look a little bit more interesting and look like that I've actually been in a combat zone. Right, um, most people will buy a tank model kit, build it, paint it, and play with it on the table, bare bones, you know, with whatever they get in the kit. And because GW have removed most of the accessory spruce from most vehicles, especially the rest, which is the saddest part, uh, everybody's tanks start to look the same. And to be honest with you, an Imperial Guard tank, it it should have lots of shit piled upon it, it should have crates, ammo, whatever. Because these guys are going to be moving about, they're going to be in combat zone. So. Not good. The tanks are basically going to be used as donkeys to carry everything and tow everything. So, um, for this video, I'm going to show you how to add um, what you can get from other model kits, what you can find from your bits box, and all that, and other supplies, and stick them up. We're not going to do any, I'm then going to do another video on how to make tarps, camel webs, and tarp holings, and all that, in another video prior to this one. But this is just going to be parts you can just buy or salvage from your kit box. So we're going to start with the Trojan. So as you can see the Trojan is pretty bare, it's, you could, I could stop now, paint it up and play with it as it is because it represents what it is, but it just looks a bit boring the way it is. It's, it doesn't look like it's been in a proper war zone. So to the side, me off camera, I've gone through, I've spent a day going through my bits boxes, getting all manners of bits and pieces together to stick on my tanks. And, and, and I found another door. If anybody watched the last video, I found another door to stick on the side, so we'll be sticking that on as well. So, there's lots of things you can chuck on this. So, you've got things like smoke launchers, you put, I think we'll put a couple of them on. Got some old GW tarps from an old Limus kit. You've got the fuel tanks from an old grid. You've got the toolbox from a little bane blade kit. You've got shovel from a heavy weapons. What else have we got? Um, I've got some. Carbine, last guns, they'll, they'll work. So we've got another shovel here, could do another shovel. Um, it's just a matter of what you can stick on. Just add a little bit of flavour to the tank. Uh, sure, I just need some binoculars there. Binoculars are good. Binoculars as well, they'll work. So most of these are GW parts, which I've salvaged. You can stick on. Um, Lean rest wheels, because it's a recovery tank, it's obviously going to try and do some roadside repairs, so some lean rust wheels wouldn't hurt. Uh, what else we got, what else we got, what else we got? Because it's got a heavy bolter on it, we've got some of these. Heavy bolter boxes for my heavy weapons team. You know, it could be a carrying extra ammo for its heavy bolter. Uh, another smoke launcher, may as well stick to one. Uh, another lean rust wheel, can't have too many. Um, this is one thing I did want to use as well, it was a bane blade ladder, put that on the side of the tank, so it looks like they've got access to the top, to the top of the tank, I've got plenty of chain link left, we could use some more chains on there really, a little more towing chains would be a cool idea, um, So we got, I've got a radar from a Space Marine Rhino kit. Um, I've got half one of these. I'm gonna find the other half because I might find, might see if I can stick a fuel tank, an extra fuel tank on. I've only got the one half at the moment. I have got loads of them somewhere. Um, what else we got? I've got? I picked up loads of bits to stick on this. Um, That could be cool. Um, some infantry kit bags, you know. Kit bags for the crew on the inside. We've got... 
spare trap links we can use. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I cleaned up and prepped up an exhaust to go on as well. Can't go without an exhaust now, can we? Um, yeah. There's the one I actually prepped up. I got two spare ones. You got an air vent that could be useful. Got some quillers. Could do with them, some of them on there. Got bits everywhere. We could use. Uh, <laughs> Oh, sugar. Um, what do you do with them? I see I prepped for this video and I've moved everything and put it everything away. So I don't know where everything is at the moment. Um, are they in there? No, they're not in there. Uh, yep. Yep. And then we got some bits from Bolt Action by here. These are going to be these be pretty cool as well. So we got some more. Got some tarps by here. They could be useful. We got some uh, tire wheels. Could use them as cogs or something. A cog wheel. Could stick a couple of them on. Um, a hatch. From one and a very flat looking jerry can. So that could be, they could be used. Uh, uh, got a sandbag, wheel, a crate. Is that a crate or is that? Nope, that's a rack of jerry cans. Uh, I'm missing something. There was something I wanted, really wanted to stick on this, but I can't find it for the life of me. Uh, yeah, so that should do. We're not going to get all of it on, but you get the rough idea. So I think we're going to begin with... Oh, and I've got some handlebars. These are pretty cool around the tank as well. So the most of the storage is going to go on these two platforms. I've got no track guards left, and I don't particularly want track guards on this tank, because then I paint the piling at Brock Eye, and I don't want nothing higher than the cupola. So, because that's how he's going to see and look for his uh, buddies who need rescuing. So, I think what we'll do might have. Where do the wheels fit better? We'll have the wheels there. And then we could have the exhaust there. So, it's just a matter of like arranging everything, working out where everything's going to sit. Um, where's our toolbox? Our toolbox has got to go on because, you know, recovery tank. We could stick the toolbox in by there. I had a crate. The crate would have been cool to prop it up onto. Probably could have made the crate out of green stuff, but that's not the point. Um, if there's anything I could prop it onto, I could. I could if I wanted. Could use these ammo bins. Put the ammo bins down first, then prop the toolbox on the top of it. So yeah, I might do that first. So if we're there, gonna go. Just gonna need my clippers a bit. What I'm gonna begin by doing first is clipping off the tail, clipping off the lid. On that one. Same on this one. Cut off that. Prop off the tail. Get a scheme, get a file. Just file it down. I'm watching, I'm finding this a bit confusing, it guys, because I'm watching through my camera on how to, on what I'm doing. So everything I'm doing, you guys can see. It's a bit weird. I've got to get used to this. So there's one. Let's get that side ripped down a bit as well. It doesn't have to sit perfectly flat. It's just got to be roughly there. So it just keeps everything smoothed off. And the side of that. Uh, 
So, so, what we can do is get double glue. So, put these two pieces together. Yeah, do the same bit of camera in a minute. I don't think you guys need to watch 100%. You can do things together. Don't worry about the top being too neat because obviously it's not going to be seen with the toolbox sat on top of it. So we'll just put that to one side, put the dry, like so. And we'll fix that on top of there. We got, which means then we can stack something a bit lower behind it. So we'll just go ahead and clean this up. It's nicely done, nicely done. Get rid of that mold line. I had a knife somewhere. That's where Yeah. So that will then go on top of there, which means I think we could chuck another Lehman Russ wheel in front of it, I guess. So, I think what we'll do first of all, see these two rust wheels back here. Start gluing some things on. Start getting some bits on. So, just take off the two scabby bits off there. So you can glue. I've lost the needle, basically broke on this, and I just couldn't get it unclogged even when lighting in for it. So, and there's not much glue left in there anyway. So, don't worry about that needle. Don't need to be too neat on this bit. Uh, and what we'll do then is just take another dot of glue, like so. Another thing as well, guys, I want everyone to let me know what they think about this new camera angle of full tours of looking down, not sideways. I want to know if it's any better, if it's a better approach to these videos. Please let me know, that'd be really handy. Next thing we're going to do is stick this exo um, exhaust on. Something's got to exhaust these fumes somehow. And we're going to put that. Again, I have a fast storage space, so I, if this happens a third time, I've just deleted a gigabyte's worth of stuff on my phone. So it should free up some space. So, um, let's just do this, man. So let's get this door on. Some glue on the hinges, put some glue around the edge. Uh, so that means that the tank's completely sealed up. Like so. Now, you can add lots of details to the side. So, we might stick some stuff on the side, like this ladder. Really want this ladder on the side of the tank. Give them like a way of, give them like an access point, I guess, on how on to get up onto the side of the tank. No, because it's not really a combat vehicle, it's armoured, but it's not really going to be diving in into the fight, so to speak. So to speak. So to speak. have to do this off camera a second because I've got to get this up and close because they've got to work out how the hell this is going to glue on. <laughs> and we'll try and get it as straight as possible as well. So we have that on the side. 
Mm -hmm. Why did she want to stay on then? One of the new contact points isn't on there too well. But, uh, that one needs to be a bit shorter. Get this on a bit straight, and then I can show you guys what it went on. Why it didn't go on? I don't think it's gonna work. Can I get it by there? Yeah, I can get it by there. Cool, like having an access ladder going to the top. It does cover, cover this door. I was not too much of a worry. I think that looks pretty damn cool. Um, next, I think I'm going to stick on a couple of things onto the side. So, let's do it off camera, mix is much quicker. We're not making mistakes then. And Quite cold here, so the glue, I don't think the glue is setting very quickly. So we could do something in between that. I think I've got. I think I've got a good drip between that. Well, I've got loads, lots of things we can drip between that, so. We'll just find something now. This one, are you? It's actually hard to do. Uh, I don't know if I like it better, to be honest with you. Let me move this one to have the two. Yeah, I have the two side by side. Sometimes you just got to play a bit more blue on one side than the other. Technical difficulty over. So actually, I'm not. I basically just chucked in another SD card because uh, that one I got is a terabyte and it wasn't even half. Wasn't even quarter full, but which just would not let me keep recording. So those I've left this for about an hour now. These have dried on quite nicely now. The ladder's on dry. These are pretty much solid. These are together solid now, so I think go ahead and glue them on. So two small taps of glue. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna if I can get it in there. Can get it in there. Can I can. Let's put those two heavy bolted boxes for that. And then and then whatever I've done with it, the toolbox, and we're gonna put the toolbox on the top. It doesn't matter if it sits flat or straight because at the end of the day, it's the tank. You just pile this stuff up sky high 
until it uh, sits on. Um, next, I think we'll try and chuck that ball grains fuel tank on there somewhere now. So, I just hit the ammo box off, but I think we'll drop that in there. Optimize our space a bit. So you've got that on there like that. Um, I want to fill up this bit by here really. Don't know how. What have I got left? What have I got left? I don't think I've shock on it. Uh, I've got some more ammo, but I don't really want for ammo on it. I might might be able to I think where I put them. I've got loads of bits everywhere. I don't know where. I put them on. Um I've got to cast a pack for there. Um uh, cast the bits for there. Um, okay, I'm going to try and do it on camera, but uh, see if I can get this set. Where is it? Right. There's a car in the chain link. I forgot with how much chain link I'm actually using. So, cut off a big piece and put it aside. Um, there's my slippers. <laughs> see, I, I go with five minutes and... I'm start losing things. Uh, where's my feathers? And there's my black ones, my metal ones there. Right. Right. So, I think I'll do it. Is that it? Put up there now. So that's ready. I have an ammo box somewhere. A green one. Green, 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 ammo box, wherever you are. And then... So I could put another lean mass wheel on it, but... I need a bit too many, I think. Or could I put these stack of jerry cans on the back? Yeah, put the, the stack of jerry cans on. So I'm going to put these stack of jerry cans onto there to fill out that space. Right. Um, with metal parts, you'll probably find you want to really when filing off fashy bits like that on the bottom. You're going to need a really thick, um, strong file, really abrasive. So this won't do. You see, it's quite abrasive. And there's two. No, no, there's only one pattern on this one. But if there's a cross hatching one, like maybe these ones are straight, they're not so good. The ones if they're crisscrossed, they're better because they don't make scuff marks like this one will. Um, let's just get that down flat so it sits tidy. So that will sit over there. Put them into there, like so, and then I'll be back. Okay, let's see if we can finish off this fucking video without any more interruptions. So, uh, just get that wee thingy to some the pod out of the way because I went and worked on some other things. Well, I waited for everyone like to go to bed and leave me alone so I can get this done without any more interruptions. This has been a great video. Ran out of space twice and been interrupted by phone calls twice, I think, so far. So, um, because I was interrupted, what was I doing while I was being interrupted? Oh, we stuck those cherry cans on there. Right, um, next, I think. 
that's pretty good for detail at the moment but I think we want to start adding some things like for the crew so what I'm thinking about doing is like adding some shovels some las rifles and some tarpaulins and other little bits now and then we shall so we'll just take some of these off the sprue some of these metal tops as well I think these look pretty cool I think they look quite mint on here so I'll just clean these up I love the quality camera on my phone if if it's on a tripod, it does it focuses really well, and as long as I don't hit it, it does stay pretty focused. And I quite I've seen the mass improvement. I mean, that is pretty. That's how I'm seeing it right now. It's not like when I was doing it on my old phone, it was just constantly it would never focus, and all that. It would just constantly blur up and. Okay, and for some reason, um, it just stopped recording it again. Fuck's sake. <laughs> um, got a knife blade in there, go. I don't know what it's done with it. I was cutting something with my knife. Just clean the mold lines off this little water in it. I think nothing. I, I was I was thinking about just re-recording the whole video, prying all the parts off. But no, I've come too far. I've come too far to turn around. So there we go. We got them. Let's make sure these shovels are clean. Flashing on the top of there. If I can find some helmets. No, I'm probably going to add a bit more off camera. But this is just uh, this is probably how I'm going to leave it. This is just like one way of showing you what you can add from your bits box and spare parts and uh, there's, lo there's loads of companies which make storage pieces for tanks and everything you can just go online and you'll just find hundreds and hundreds I think Tami is one of my favourites I'll go get some more Tami parts Tami makes some really cool kit um, pieces to add on to tanks like they do like bags, barrels, jerry cans, uh, crates. Crates is one thing I'm struggling to get hold of in, in the right scale because this is 28mm heroic scale I believe and I've got a 28mm historical vehicle here which I'm currently working on and that's 20. That's true 28mm scale. The size difference is ridiculous. It is really ridiculous. You can see I mean, if I put a guardsman next to the guardsman, is almost the size of the tank. But, uh, that's for another video. Um, okay, so we put those shovels on there. And the last gun's just stashed on the back there. I think we'll go for a smoke launch next. Because these do have smoke launchers in their profile. And I think we'll stick this one on there. Like that.